Yeah, Graham Bradley here. Let's have a look here. So he had, this was, I believe, Sears and Roebuck. It might have been Monkey Wards. Let's see what he's got to say here. Sears, okay, that's what I thought. Somebody was building these in the late 30s. He doesn't have a year. Uh, they were they were pretty modern looking for the time, but they were you know basic tractor again. They used components you know they used pretty much standardized components. I can honestly say I've never seen one with implement, but they got a David Bradley sickle bar on it. Looks to be about a seven foot sickle bar. It's got the trip away if you remember them when you'd hook a fence post or a rock or something a little tree. It's, that'd come uncoupled, and she'd, the blade would swing straight back so you wouldn't damage the blade. But now this one wouldn't, that wouldn't be a problem. But the old uh, PTO shafts that really made a racket. I don't know what happened here when that uncoupled. I suppose it threw the belts. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> well. <laughs> Just for the heck of it, look at the operators. Yeah, electric start, that doesn't surprise me. I don't remember who made the entrance on these. Pulley shift, okay. Some kind of knob on the floor, I suppose it's spring-loaded. You pulled it up and shifted it over. You got your PTO lever right down here behind you. Okay, I think you.